a truly tragic story coming out of central India. An official has reported that a five-year-old girl has died after being raped. Two men have been arrested in connection with this crime. However, this incident comes merely four months after the brutal attack of a woman who was gang raped in India and who later died as a result of her injuries. This morning, we're joined on the line with Rohit Bansal. Rohit is a partner at Hammurabi and Solomon, which is a leading legal and advisory group in Delhi, India. Rohit, good day. Thank you again for speaking with us. Thank you, Vim. Good morning to all listeners here. Rohit, the young girl had been in hospital for two weeks following her attack. What do we know about her and what do we know about how her alleged perpetrators came to find her? Very sordid and somewhat predictable story. Uh, born of dispossessed parents living in an outlying area of Delhi. Um, ambushed by her neighbor, which is a fact uh, being underscored repeatedly that uh, children uh, and uh, victims are typically being ambushed by those who they trust and are least suspecting of. And then uh, the child was uh, uh, raped by the two uh, men. I would uh, probably call them diseased animals. And in turn, uh, then locked. And the parents went helter-skelter looking for the child. Uh, the police wasn't of much help. Now, that's becoming a usual story, even in the national capital of India. And then uh, a bit of an outrage as the news leaked out. And the parents, I think, the father in particular, extremely brave to take on the police's version and explain how he was actually, um, you know, uh, there was an attempt to bribe him with uh, with all of uh, 30 U.S. dollars equivalent, which is about 2,000 rupees by the police, not to take his story any further in the media. So all the uh, sordid and familiar inputs of uh, the state being inept uh, in handling this, this gruesome crime and the police chief, uh, Nikhil uh, Neeraj Kumar of Delhi, uh, who is, uh, you know, in a way, uh, the top gun one would have in the situation, stating that he would not quit on any moral grounds whatsoever, and fundamentally stating that uh, uh, these things happen at an individual level and there's no institutional uh, response that is merited. Rohit, I have read a number of reports that indicate that there has been a spike in uh, the attacks in India upon women and upon children. However, some reports have, attri- have attributed this spike to the fact that these, pro- these crimes are just being reported more. Do you believe that the crime is actually occurring more, or do you feel as if women and the parents of children who are attacked are just speaking out more uh, about these horrific incidents? Well, I think both things are happening. The population is increasing, the perversion is increasing, and Internet pornography, among others, has led to the effects that we are seeing, uh, I would say, sordidly. It's also true that more people are coming forth, and in a society where a rape victim was supposed to hide her shame rather than bring it out in the open, uh, society is somewhat more uh, conducive to victims coming forth the third and, I think, uh, important dimension to score is the police is actually not turning away these victims, which used to be a fairly normal process. It still continues in large numbers, but, uh, you know, you, you would think that there are uh, uh, crime bureau statistics which are spiking all of a sudden and rape is happening at a greater frequency. But, yes, rape is also being registered with greater alacrity, and the fear of the media is certainly one such factor driving more registration by the police. Rohit, in in your opinion, um, do you feel as if that the the women and children are are being placed at greater risk by coming forward has the stigma about rape is are we are we noticing in real time a cultural shift in the attitudes towards rape in India? Certainly. I think uh, in, in a recent uh, broadcast, you brought out eminently the work of uh, uh, Chief Justice J.S. Verma, who authored the uh, uh, redone rape laws, clearly in the aftermath of the 
gruesome and shameful uh, uh, rape four months back in the heart of South Delhi uh, of a 23-year-old woman. It shamed the country and uh, shook our moral conscience. So there, those rape laws have been very quickly ratified by the Parliament of India. Normally, this process could take weeks, if not months or years. Uh, this has been passed, which makes uh, uh, things like marital rape uh, a far bigger thing than it used to be, uh, making sure that all the technicalities of how uh, penetration took place and with what particular uh, method the uh, victim was assaulted are all pushed aside into a very uh, simple to understand and omnibus uh, you know, um, uh, effect of the crime being established. And thereafter, the punishment has also been made far more stringent. And certainly the mood in society is of far less tolerance than it ever was. And uh, more power to this tribe. Tim. Rohit, uh, I understand that there have been a number of demonstrations in the Capitol uh, post uh, this attack on this five-year-old child. Give us an idea about what the demonstrators are calling for. And obviously, the demonstrators are both male and female. What are men saying about this crime as well? I don't think there is much distinction between what the men and the women are demanding. They clearly have a very strong rape law now to support their contention. They clearly want the law enforcement agency, which in this case is the Delhi police, to get its act together. Uh, not to turn away people just because they are poor or are coming without uh, influence into the police station to register uh, this sort of uh, possible um, rape being com committed on their child. So I think what people essentially expect is the police to be more humane. And uh, to, to, to defend the police for just one minute, they are clearly overburdened, under-trained, under-motivated, and for sure, uh, crime statistics are treated on hindsight with a great amount of illiteracy, I dare say. If a police uh, officer starts registering every single complainant who comes to his uh, police station or her police station, uh, the same police officer is then, uh, you know, um, under a lot of pressure to explain why there's a rise in crime when there's actually a rise in crime registration, which is a good thing. But unfortunately, the metric of evaluating uh, officers is still rather archaic, rather, uh, rather colonial and old-fashioned, which is, oh, in this one year, crime and rape in particular has gone up 300%, whereas actually the person may have been registering genuine bona fide cases, which otherwise his predecessor in the previous year had just pushed away and, and made pretty statistics in. Rohit, what do we know about the two men who have been charged in connection with this child's rape and then her subsequent death? From what I understand, one of them is 35 years old and, as you mentioned earlier, was a neighbor of her parents? That's right. And they have scooted to uh, the northern uh, uh, state of Bihar. Uh, they have been apprehended. So, in a sense, this is good news that uh, the police, when it wants, uh, gets its act together. But... The point I wish to make before your listeners and to you, Kim, is that this is just one of the many rates that are happening. And just at this time, in a, in a relatively uh, less media-focused uh, arena of uh, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh in India, a four-year-old child was similarly raped, with much less indignation by the society and much less attention by the Indian or the foreign media. So what happens is that something in Delhi does take its own... Uh, you know, size and shape and form, whereas a lot more is happening elsewhere, and the police and the society have that much to react in those areas as well. Kim. Indeed. Rohit, we're going to leave the conversation there. We've been joined with Rohit Bansal. He is a partner at Hammurabi and Solomon, which is a leading legal and advisory group in Delhi, India. And we've been talking about uh, the tragic circumstance of a five-year-old child uh, who was raped by two men who are in custody. But unfortunately, the child did pass away on Monday evening in hospital. Rohit, we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. As always, my pleasure, Kim.